Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom, also known as Syndicate, and this is my Minecraft Project Let's Play world. A world where I'm trying to 100% all the achievements in Minecraft, and at the same time, play Minecraft, have fun, and show you all my new builds and all my new ideas as they come to fruition. Now, have you guys been watching this series? I've been building, I've been designing, I've been loving it. However, we have been running severely low on resources. It's getting to the point where I might have all netherite gear and all that sort of stuff and could basically survive the highest of high falls and the most explosive creeper detonations, but um, I can't so much as actually make a pair of shears, um, even though I have spares, uh, with the actual materials I've got. We need to be uh, making way more items, way more farms, and setting ourselves up for the future. So I think it's about time we go on a little bit of an adventure, mountain crawling, to see if we can get some stonks. Now, along this mission, we can be 200 IQ. And as I need to run around finding as many ores as possible, we can actually try and tick something off our list that we're actually trying to complete. In the last episode, if you guys didn't tune in, I've been working on this sort of like diagonal alley, diagonal alley uh, sort of setup leading into my cartographer's house. Spoiler alert, the cartographer hasn't moved in yet, but this guy seems to have done so. What are you doing? Oh, bloody hell. Wow, I literally just, I one-shotted him into oblivion. Don't tell Derek, he's my uh, friendly neighborhood enderman, um, that I just slaughtered his friend in, oh my god, si silence, silence, flipping heck, that I, I shot him in, in one kill, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, but what we're hoping to do is, you know, two birds, one stone, and try and complete the rest of this map. As you can see, this is where I am right now, and over in this yonder distance through this window is the land beyond that we haven't actually explored and opened up with a map. I've checked out little parts of it, but I'm thinking if we could take some uncompleted maps with us, we can actually step our game up and complete more of this wall. So hopefully if we adventure off in this direction today, that's what we'll be able to do. Now, due to my actual lack of iron and being able to make compasses and stuff, I've actually got some cartographers ready up here, but we just need to get some trades going. And as you guys know, I have got absolute stonk productions when it comes to be able to get in hold of the emeralds to max out these guys' trades. So what I'm going to quickly do is complete these all up fully to try and see if they can sell us some either compasses or maps for us to take on our journey. And what a better way to... Oh, hang on a minute! What's happening here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a minute. Gary the... I think I think he's called Gary or he's called Terry the Tortoise or Turtle, whatever it is. Um, hang on a minute. You're here. But who's this? I, wait, I, I, I did just see another one. Who on earth are you? So, um, weird story time that if you don't watch every single one of these episodes, you'll know I actually put um, some little eggs over here for some turtles that we had. And the eggs seem to have disappeared, and we thought that a zombie managed to come over and eat them. But what I'm starting to think is maybe the actual eggs hatched, but the turtles swam off. And because they were so small, I just simply didn't see them. And the fact that they've actually grown up now is an absolute win. But that means if we've got this one here and that one there, I'm sure we're supposed to have had an extra one swimming around. So keep your eyes open, um, because we may have another turtle in our midst. And if we do, we're going to kill it, get the seagrass, breed them together, and have the ultimate turtle farm. Not to distract from what I need to do today, but, you know, it's just another thing on our, on our list of things to do. Right, let's gather ourselves up some resources for some stonks up top. A few extra things that we're going to need to get the cartographer trades maxed out. Make ourselves some stonks. Get ourselves to what? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. I thought this guy was selling me for emeralds paper, but instead he's actually selling us maps. Oh my goodness me. That is it. You're exactly what I need. Do you, do you know what? To the point where this guy's exactly what I need to, to, to say the point that we can actually drop him down into the new house and he can become our official cartographer. All right, my mate. Sell me some more maps. I'll take nine maps. Flipping heck. That is amazing. Um, I accidentally, I have to come clean. Um, I accidentally messed up and I had the maps in my hand whilst I was trying to right click the traders and I kept hearing this like scribbling writing noise. Um, so I kind of may or may not have made, uh, um, uh, yeah, three of the same map. I done goofed. Uh, I was I was actually hoping that this might have been like one to the side or to the edge or whatever of a map that I uh, don't need. But uh, if we rotate that round, uh, you can see it's the exact same one now. I don't know if you can actually empty maps or clear them. So I'm just going to put these into there for now and just kind of like, you know, hope for the best that using uh, uh, an actual cartographer's... Well, how does it work? Uh, have I got... Oh, wait, I was going to say, have I got a cartographer's table? Yes, I do. So what do you do? Do you put an empty... Do you combine the maps together? Like, what... 
What? What is this? Also, do you like this? This is a loom that kind of looks like an interesting block when you place it down. So I put it in there for a little bit of detail. Oh, very nice. Okay, so, whoa. I opened up the wiki to learn about this. And basically, if you put a, p a map in with a blank map, you can create an identical version of that map to share with someone else. But if you put paper in, you can actually increase the size of the map of what it actually shows. So, whoa! That is amazing! So you can actually do a much larger scale of your entire world. So, for example, this map here, you know, is showing a much, much, like, uh, in-depth detail of, like, you know, the bridge that I've built and the cow farm and everything. But if I wanted to make it on a much bigger scale, we could simply, you know, like, take these down, place this on, fill it up, and we could create what almost could be, like, the entire world that we would ever know and would, would have ever explored. That is actually crazy wait a minute can you can you add more paper to it and keep going further out also let me let me go ahead and try this so if i put in this map which is there and add another piece of paper <gasps> what how oh my lord i actually had no idea you could do this what wow so this is everything i have basically explored in the circle of this map in this area and look at it on the scale of the map wait but hang on a minute Give me that back. We can go even bit. We can go even bigger. How, how far can you go? Is it? No way. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. I'm a dot. I'm an actual dot. Wait, how much more further? Is, it just, is this the last time? Oh. <laughs> no way. No freaking way. Wow. So if you really wanted to be the adventurer of adventurers... You could just scale this out and then fly around with an elytra and load and unlock everything. It can't, it can't go any bigger, surely. It can't go any bigger. No, it can't. Wow. Okay. So um, that's actually ins it, 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 that is insane. Oh, I've got loads of paper in here as well. Uh, so I'm just going to stop stonk that in there. And do you know what? We might end up doing this map here as like a, you know, a map of the area where I'm at and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, it being like from a top down view of my house and my home. But then with, is it this one? Yeah, we could have this one as a one-to-one -one scale. And then we could do this wall here as like a one-to-two or a one-to-four scale. That would be uh, that'd be pretty dope if we could do that. I've also just realized, is this room not symmetrical? Wait, wait, you go in, one, two, what? <clears throat> um, I'm not going to lie. Didn't notice that, but uh, I'm either going to change it or I'm going to leave it like <laughs> that and fix it at a later date. But that is mad. I, I genuinely had no idea. So, yeah, look, we can actually do a map. So when you w walk in here, you can actually see my house. And if we actually laid it out in a better way, we do like here because then it's the ocean that's behind us there. Uh, actually, that one there and that one there. And look, there's my house. This is my house. So where we look at that right now, we're there. And this is facing behind us. So if we go and complete the maps ahead of us over there, we'll actually load up this section. Should we quickly do that now? I know I'm supposed to be going off uh, looking for, you know, like resources and stuff. But, you know, uh, again, after a good night's sleep, we can we can get it all done. We can, we can get it all done. Don't worry about it. All right. I'm feeling fresh and I'm feeling fly. And I'm feeling motivated. I actually want to go and uh, quickly uh, run down here. Okay. Just getting attacked from above. Thanks for that, broski fire. I appreciate that. I'm going to run away. Because if you won't be able to catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'm going to chop this tree down here. And I'm actually going to go ahead, make myself a crafting table, and make myself a boat. reason why we're doing this is because, as you know me, I love making crafting tables, uh, we're actually uh, going to fill out these uh, top two maps. So if I place this down, make myself a, a butt. Okay, thank God that guy uh, guy died getting closer to me. And you know what? For once, rather than leaving it behind and leaving it there, I'll actually take it with me. Okay, so we're setting sail and I've got my map. And I think I've already realized that I already need to open up one new map. So let's do that now. And yes, indeed we do. So look at this. So if we just fill this all out, I think by swimming it over this way, we can complete this direction. Okay, that's good. And then we could do with heading. I think let's go, let's go like three down this way, three maps length this way, as we enjoy this beautiful scenery. And then complete the other two. Cause then we can at least get the mini table done um off the bat straight away. So we've got this one. And we're into the next zone. So let's create another one. Which brings us to here. Oh! Whoa! Hang on a minute. Is that actually revealed that? Oh, that's kind of cool. So I had no idea, but that looks like that's going to be one of the uh, the nether portal areas. So if we quickly grab this, do you like how, again, this was supposed to be a, re a resource run mission? And it kind of is. I'm laying a map of the land to work out where I need to go and where everything is. But 
if we run over here, we should technically find ourselves some pretty good stonking resources. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see how good this resource run's going to turn out. Uh, um... Yeah, I'll take, a, I'll take a clock. Why not? Uh, okay. Um, I was gonna, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, we'll take this. See? Gold. See, it all pans out. It all, it all has a way of working out. Yo, is there any more gold around here? Yup. I don't got any. I don't, I don't got any more stonks. No, I'll take it. I'll take it if you got it. Apparently not. Not gonna lie. That was a really, really cool find, though. Like, absolutely incredible find. Very, very happy with that. But uh, we are now near uh, the next edge of this map to be able to load up another one. I think we uh, will be able to turn back on ourselves once we get into this area. So let's do the next map. So let's move these up, move that one along, and we'll load this one, which then puts us here. So there you go. Ooh, look at that. Oh, if we actually go all the way over, all the way down to the end, we'll actually fill this up quite nicely. You know what? We can actually fill the other three on the other, on the other side down as well. Let's go to the edge of this. Let's. Oh, you know what? Is there any corals out here? Because if we're at the edge of the ocean, we could see a coral. Um, it would be... Oh, hey, up. That's an interesting spot straight away. Little castle in the ocean. Look at it go. Is that? I, I, I feel like that's actually sticking out of the ground. Imagine if, the, imagine if that was the end portal. Like, imagine if that was legitimately the end portal and it was just sticking out like, Yoo-hoo! Hello there! That'd be wicked. All right. Um, let's open up our last map for this section here. Bing bong. And we have now done in a straight... Oh, okay. Yeah, it just leads straight to ocean. So we've done in a straight line going from our house all the way to here and we're done. I think now what we need to do is go back on ourselves. I think we should go put these back just to realign where we're up to. And then I think we need to go back on ourselves kind of like over from this side. So let's do that. This is where I've got a bad feeling it's going to get very complicated. All right. So now I've got to open up this one, which is here. And I've now got to head back this way and complete them to get home. So uh, let's keep that one up. Keep going into the next chunk. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Load this one. And we keep her going. Uh, to the next one. Bing bonk. And, oh, actually, you know what? I don't know where that went. Map 23. Where's map 24? Is that 24? All right, cool. And then this one. A keeper going. And I dare do say this might not be last but not least. cha -da! Oh, let's just fill that corner in real quick. As I sail on by here and flex at how cool this area all looks. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, ha, ha. All right, that's all filled in. Right, let's go plonk these down on the map on the table and see how this has turned out. Now, if you guys thought I struggled building lighthouses, let me tell you right now, um, building a map wall is absolutely frustrating to the point where I'm so glad I didn't even bother trying to show you me putting it together because you would have been screaming at me. But alas, let's take a look at how it's come together. I love it, uh, and I'm still not convinced it's right because you see like these weird lines that you get in between them. I can't tell whether it's to do with the lighting or not, but um, sometimes it makes me think that some might not be placed in the right uh, location or maybe rotated in the wrong orientation. Uh, that said, I, I, I think that's right. I, I think... I think it's perfect uh, to the point that I couldn't actually fit any more on. So the top tips of this one and that one are kind of um, obsolete and uh, kind, of, kind of ruined, to be fair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw these in here if we can ever find a way to actually, you know, uh, clear the maps to be able to reuse them. And uh, I'm going to go trade the villagers just to get enough to be able to complete this section. I need to do it in a very strategic way because otherwise I'm going to go crazy. So I might actually see I like this, you know, the gaps here. I may actually remove everything from this section, put like, you know, this corner there, that one there. And then I can build it up so I know which one goes where. And same with this side, for example. So so I can come back here, place it in easily uh, and not go bald. Because trust me, if I take this helmet off, look at me. I'm freaking bald. Not going to lie, this kind of scary. Finding new land and exploring new worlds. Hello. Uh, I was going to say sheep then, but that's definitely not what, what I was... Oh, more turtles. Uh, one sec. I know this is a, a you know, a mapping out uh, exercise, but let me go ahead and uh, just go ahead and slay these guys. Uh, listen, I need the seagrass, all right? It's for the greater good. I might kill you here, but trust me, your, your population will live on. You just simply need to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, Starry, I'm here. Like, like a true like a true person, a true adver uh, adventure of the land. I'm now going to map out my uh, my area, get what I need. And uh, which one is it? Oh, bloody hell, I don't even know. Is it this one? I think, hey, hey it's this one. And uh, th that'll be me done now. See you later. Bye. Sorted. And we've only got two left to go. And uh, we should fill that left-hand side of the wall. I'm also looking at the uh, the distance here in case there's any villagers in the horizon. Can I, set, can I change my uh, render? Oh, my gosh. I'm only on 20. Right, load my render distance. Oh, I've crashed my PC. No, I haven't. Whoa. 
Oh, whoa! That is a lot. That, wow, that, that loaded up so many um, trees. That is crazy. Oh, wow. It's all mountainous. Oh, flipping heck. I thought it was like all flat land in the distance. <gasps> yes! That is a great success that we've just looked over there. That's where we can find dark oak. Oh, that is huge. Not only for the mushrooms, but for the fact that we can actually ransack all that, get the saplings from it, and start bringing dark oak into the rest of our builds. Oh, wicked. Very, very nice adventure session. Right, if I've done this correctly, this should be quite easy to piece together. So if I put that one there, let's put our original starting map back there, which is the... Oh, that's not right. <laughs> um, that, That's not right at all. Which was the pumpkin one? I think this was the pumpkin one. So let's put that there. And then I can only... <laughs> I'm already messed up. I'm already messed up. Is that this one? I th I think is I think no I don't know oh no it's that one that's right and then rotate this that's right that's right that's right, that's right. okay so then these two did I just switch those round I've no oh, I've messed it up already I think that one goes there and this one goes there yeah that's that's right that's right and then that one there and that one there so like that and like that and I think I've just got to rotate them yeah I think it's two rotations every time and then this one and that one so this one and that one and then rotate it twice. And there you go. I have completed. This doesn't look right, though. Mm. Oh, there you go. That, yeah, that looks right. Because look, that connects. There is the map of my land in the area. Whoa. This kind of doesn't look right, though. Are you is this is this right? Is this? Are we sure? Are we sure about this? Are we sure about this? See what I mean? It's it's an absolute headache, but. I think that's about right. We've just got this last side to do, which I'm just going to speed my way through doing that real quick and complete the task at hand. But yeah, we got a full uh, floor to ceiling map. This is dope. Now, come on. You've got to love it when a plan comes together. So smash like button. Make sure you subscribe because ta -da! Look at this. I've got it all mapped out looking absolutely epically. Unfortunately, uh, the last map that I had didn't quite fit on the top of it, which isn't a problem. So I'm just going to, again, like store my maps in there in case I can uh, learn how to clear them. Um, we, we do have the issue that the room is, you know, like lopsided. So this wall actually needs pushing back by one, which would be pretty cool because we know there's a lot of land over here. So it will actually reveal uh, more space for us to be able to like see on the map, which would be great. But then again, if we actually decided to move the whole map over by one, we'd actually lose all this blue section, which is just taking up space unnecessarily. But I tell you what, tell me that that doesn't look sick. From an idea that started as a like, a, oh yeah, let's, you know, maybe do this and maybe lay it out like that. Like storage, sleeping area, desk, you know, like map. Uh, it looks epic. It really, really, really does. And now that we know how to like scale the maps as well, um, we'll do a massive overview of the map on here or put in like, you know, the Ocean Explorers map and all that sort of stuff. It can be pretty cool. We can actually make it like points of interest. Like if we remove these ones and make it like a battle map. So like if we only had one there and one there, we can make it like this is the, uh, you know, the Ocean Temple and then this is the other one. So it's like the attack of like when we're going to go to uh, to go and like try and take over and get all the loot from there. So it'll come together quite sweet. So uh, yeah, I'm going to em empty up my inventory uh, after a quick uh, humpity hump of the sea turtles. And yeah, I think it's time to go and see if we can get like, you know, 20 stacks of iron, 50 stacks of coal, and all the all of the above, so we can get making more uh, chains and all that sort of stuff for decorating the rest of our area. Now, where are our turtles be? Now, I, I can only guess you seem to be stuck here. Like, I don't know if he can actually get to the water or not. And is, is he following me because of this stuff? I think he might be. Um, So I'm going to just, like, lure him over to the other one. Where's the other fat gate? Gary. Oh, he's there. All right, Gary. This is Gertrude. Gary and Gertrude, come on. Come on, keep her going. Come on, keep her going. Um, you guys are going to start the turtle civilization uh, of a lifetime, all right? And if anyone manages to find the third one, wherever he's at, um, let him know that he's forever alone and nobody loves him because we don't have anyone for him to hump just yet. But all right, are you guys ready to get your scrum diddly umptiousness on? I'm going to give this to you and then this to you. And with the power of Mother Nature... Oh, wait, did they do it? Wait, what? I got the XP already. Did they... That, uh, go on, Gary, you quick boy. Bloody hell. <laughs> Wasting no time at all there, he wasn't. Now, inspired by Giga Chad Gary, um, I need to decide where I'm going to go off an adventure. Um, We actually did see everything over on that side there, which isn't loaded up on the map, but um, it looks pretty resourceful. So I say uh, we head over in that direction. We'll get a load of dark oak. We'll get uh, saplings and stuff like that so we can start incorporating it over here because we've got spruce at the moment. And what is he doing? No, no deliveries today. 
No deliveries. All right, listen. Go away. I swear this this mountain is just infested with endermen. <laughs> go away. But anyway, right. So, yeah, I say we get on the boat. We go over to that new direction. Uh, we go ransack that pirate ship. Um, and then we're actually going to do more of, like, an above-ground mining session. Um, I have to give a shout-out to... Uh, is it Grian or Grian? I, I always say the name wrong. But um, in his latest Hermitcraft video, he actually went, like, running across a mountaintop. Rather than, like, mining underground for, like, loot and ores and resources... He ran across a mountaintop and just found, like, um, just copious amounts uh, of, of, like, ores and resources. So, I think that's what I want to do. Rather than going underground, we're going to stay overground and try and collect as much as possible. So, I've got my resources opened up as much as the best can be. Do you know what? I feel like that, that was actually quite nice to jump down here and there would be a boat waiting for me. So, like, whenever I take a boat, I'm going to leave a boat. I should probably set up some sort of, like, hopper system, like, where you... Like, you know, flick a button and it drops it down. That'd be quite cool. Like, oh, when we get the port done, we can introduce it there. But, um, yeah, let's go off on our adventure. Let's go all the way over to where we saw that sunken ship. And uh, with all this space, with the fact that we've got an ender chest now for even more storage, um, we should really, really start um, reaping the benefits and the rewards. So, uh, off we yonder. Hear ye, hear ye. New land has been located. I'm here to ransack your loot, your trees, your houses, and your bees. You may not believe me, but it is our indeed the truth. I'm actually going to... Uh, first thing I'm going to take is once these bees go back into here, uh, grab this because um, your boy only just learned after however long they've existed how to make candles in Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for one of these to go back in, suck, touch it, and take him from his land that he loves. <coughs> Sorry, you just heard all that. That's really awkward. <laughs> To try and speed up this process, I've made it a bit more of an enticing way for him to go into his house. Now, if you could just kindly collect all these flowers and get inside, that would be grand. <laughs> Thank you. That is uh, uh, a bee nest with some bees inside. Now, let's collect me more and let's get a run second. And here we are. Oh, this, this is going to be so lovely. New recipe acquired. Oh, I do believe so. That is very nice. I'm going to take a, a full stack of 64 of it and then just take the saplings to be able to grow the rest at home. But dark oak is going to come in very sweetly for the rest of the designs I would like to do for my house and for my home. As you guys see, I've actually been trying to step it up a notch, you know, with the whole uh, what I can build and how I can do it. And I think this is going to this could be doing it quite nicely, thank you. So uh, I'll be taking that. I'll be taking your saplings. And then, if I'm right, you say, if this is where we saw this, is that sunken boat somewhere around here? I've uh, obviously lowered my frame rate uh, or render distance, but it's out there somewhere. I will find you. And you know what I've just decided? Rather than actually ransacking the land of, you know, like running along um, looking for, you know, like just ores in the mountain that look like dirt we actually need to, oh i don't need that uh, we actually need to be looking for just stone mountain edges i don't need any i don't think i need any of this do i need any of this i don't think i need any of this because i've got like unlimited supplies back home um we actually need to be finding um mountains that are just made of stone because if they're just made of stone then um we'll just see all the ores on the outside edge of it so as nice as all this is i think we need to get back at sea and try and find ourselves a stony outcrop uh, for us to just be able to harvest. And hey, man, when in Rome, I'm going to take myself a bunch of the new flowers that I find along the way because I can see these becoming very, very useful down the line. And oh, look at that, a baby. Die, baby. Okay, you know what? That was embarrassing that I missed every shot, so I think you get to keep your life. But you don't. Take that as a, take that, take that as a warning, okay? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, child. Oh, oh, yes. Just over that mountain that I've just walked over. Oh, well, does that really class as a mountain? More of like a hill. I've just walked over and found exactly what I am looking for. This is it. And ooh, some acacia trees over there. I can't tell if I've already got acacia. Uh, might be worth grabbing. But this is the place where you come and get resources. Just because all the ores are open from the top and you can just run around collecting them. Now, what I could do here is I could silk touch pick these up, um, you know, for the whole taking more back with me. But because, I, because I've got fortune, I might as well just fortune them now um, and deal with it all later. But look at this. It's very nice. A dolphin. More dolphins. I would like to see some sea coral. Because if, if we could find some sea coral, we could take that all back with us. But um, coal and iron is on my agenda today. And, ooh, oh, it doesn't actually look like it's that big of a stone area. But look at that. Coal there, coal there, coal there, coal there. Um, it's all leading into a massive acacia aisle. So uh, let's keep it going. And uh, you know what? I don't think I've got one of those flowers yet. Or that one. Or that one. 
Oh, I'll take all of them. Oh, you know what? I think I've actually had acacia logs before. Yes. I oh, or maybe not. No, I haven't. I was going to say, I'm sure I've had acacia logs already because of the, um, you know, the, the farm where we got all our villagers from the first time round. I would have thought that was acacia, but I must have uh, just picked up the blocks themselves and... Ooh, this is looking very treacherous. I like it. Oh, I'm finding resources for days right now. The only thing I'll probably kick myself and say is that I don't have shulker boxes. I know a lot of people have said, like, Tom, why don't you, like, you've got god tier gear. Why don't you go and fight the ender dragon and get shulkers and all that? And then you can just carry so much more stuff. And I do hear that. I do get it. But um, I don't know, man. Uh, I do things in weird ways, and I'm more than happy just to do it this way for now. The whole shulker box system is very smart and very efficient. But when have I... Seriously, ever been very smart or very efficient? Well, maybe in recent times when it comes to building in Minecraft, but like, come on, come on. It's it's not the way I do things. I do things the, the you know, the hard way, the, the difficult way, you know, the fun way. And you know what? Whilst I am here, I might as well take all of this stuff with me. It's very, very useful uh, for making the pots and everything because the amount of decorating I'm doing now in the in the world is, uh, you know, looking very good. So pots for uh, putting my plants in and stuff and <gasps> tropical fish. Wait, yeah, th these are actually tropical fish. What is that? I'm, t I'm taking that. I'm taking you. I got it. Bucket a goat fish. <laughs> what a great name. Yeah, I'll take <laughs> look, look at him there. Looking like he's struggling. Like, Let me out, please. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Do you know what? I'd be quite tempted real quick. If we could set up a uh, small, tiny little base camp here uh, to go ahead. This is where uh, shulkers would come in handy. But if we quickly, quickly, quickly. Have I got the wood for this? Wait, I've got... Oh, yeah, I do. I'll have the wood for this with this. Oh, beautiful. Right, crafting table. Don't worry about it. I'm leaving it behind. If we crafting table up and then we make a furnace, like so, and then I put in my iron, this. Let's make some buckets. And then if we put this down, we can actually take some tropical fish back with us. A lot of people have been saying, Tom, make an aquarium. And uh, you need tropical fish for an aquarium to look cool. Uh, this will... Uh, this will... Uh... Double up as a win for some fish for our area, as well as maybe allow us to make an aquarium uh, in the future. So, uh, yeah. Double double whammy! You try telling me I'm not a smart man. Right, what are we going to get next? Who are you? Oh, you. No, you. Okay, I managed to catch a... <laughs> a dotty back! Oh, you dotty back. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, What are you? What is that? <laughs> Damn, that's a rockfish, man. Wait, is that a damn? Damn, son, that's a, that's a species I've never seen before. All right, I'm going to need someone else. Uh, you, I don't think I've got you. You are a chichilla, chichilla, a sicilian, a shishilla, a or something like that. And I'm going to need one more, I think. What about you? Have I caught one of you yet? Wait, why is he running so fast? Oh, mate, I've got fucking, I've got fucking, stop. I've got bloody dolphin speed. What did I catch? I can't, wait, I've already got one of you. Goatfish, go away. I need, I need another tropical fish. Any more tropicanos, shadows here? What are you? What are you? Potato fish. A yellow tang. That's a cool ass name, I'm gonna lie. Hmm, all right, you're coming on with me. A fine addition to my collection. So I've got a goatfish, a yellow tang, a ch ch a sis ch a side child, a sis child, side child. I have no idea how you say that. And a dotty back. Brilliant. Um. I needed one more piece of iron, and we could have caught another one. But uh, you know what? As a middle ground, that will uh, that will do for now. We'll take that back, put it in, and how efficient was that, man? Me bringing this with me. What a genius! I've also done the whole thing of you know, um, uh, what's it called? Stacking them into coal blocks and raw copper blocks, so I can just be efficient with my space and stuff. So uh, off we continue, gathering our resources and ransacking the land. <laughs> <sighs> Right, I couldn't help myself. Um, I was drawn under underground by like just this natural light down here, and I and I, and I, and I, and I look what I found. I found the natural habitat of like ninety-eight million glow squids. I don't know why this is a thing, but I'm gonna quickly kill them all. I'd like to work out how to actually breed glow squids if that's a thing. Um, don't, uh, well, bloody hell, he's fine. Hey, where, where did he just go? He just got the nos button from him, man. He's there going well rapid. All right, we're going to quickly kill these, grab all these, because these allows me to do the, uh, the signs of the videos and all that sort of stuff. So we'll grab grab all that. How many did I get? 12. Well, there's more floating off. Get back here. How many did I get? How many did I get? 19. That was a great success. Um, yeah, but I just got drawn down here. I know I wasn't going to go, like, um, into, like, a mine and mine shaft and go mining and all that, but um, I kind of just got a little bit carried away. I'm not going to lie. You never know, man. Might find some Desmond Tutus. No, I'm, I'm not, like, interested in finding diamonds because I just genuinely, like, I don't have a use for them, really. Like, I don't. 
maybe there'll be something that like down the line i'll need but then i think we could just go looking for him at that date but um yeah i just don't really okay okay, okay that that was a bit I'm not gonna lie a little bit ominous that i i feel like i feel like i'm drawn to cave systems you know just to just have a little look i'm not gonna be here long i'm just i'm just gonna have a little just gonna have a little look i'm just gonna have a little look you know what a bit of gold. I don't mind taking a little bit of gold. I mean, sure, go on then. Go on, go on then. We'll take a little bit of gold. Now, you guys are probably screaming at me and like, Diamonds over there! It's very dark in here and the sun is screaming, uh, uh, screaming? Uh, the sun is shining on my computer screen, so I can't really see that much. But, uh, if you see diamonds, screenshot at me, tweet at me and be like, Tom, you're an idiot, you missed them. Um, yeah, oh, I got a minute. Don't screenshot me. Say I'm an idiot and tell me I missed them. I found them. Oh, there you go. You know, two... Two diamonds in my back pocket. You know what? I'll take them. I don't. Do I need them? Nah. Will I take them? Sure. Why not? You know what? We, we, you, you can't. You can't go wrong with a little bonus of some diamonds. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey. You can't go wrong with a little bonus of some diamonds. But how about more? How about how about a little bit more? Hey. We take. We take that. Now I'm just gonna break a few more blocks around it just in case. I was actually drawn over here. Hey, five diamonds. Nice. Very good. Very good. I was actually drawn over here by the redstone. Thought we'd take a bit more of that. I don't exactly again need it, but um, you know, it's just a little bit of an addition uh, to to what we've already got. Very nice. Got some lapis as well. Um, and I think that might conclude my. I don't need diamonds, but I'll go and see if there is any <laughs> in here anyway. Uh, mission into this cave. I think we can go back on the outside uh, and collect a bunch more coal. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, so I haven't left the cave yet. And yes, I'm, so, I'm filled with arrows because it's now got to a point that I'm that strong that like when I'm just like mining away, if I start getting shot, I don't really need to worry about it because I'm not really going to die. And because I've got like God tier armor and it's all got mending on it, I just heal and repair uh, pretty rapidly. But um, I just started going towards this water source as a, oh, I'll just be able to swim up that to get out. I placed this one torch and look what I found. What are, like, what are the chances of that? That is honestly absolutely brilliant. Um, I would leave this to leave... Oh, actually, you know what? Can I silk touch these? No! I think, I, I think I've already done that test before. But um, I'm going to take all this down and take the blocks with me just in case I need it. But I'm going to leave behind uh, these, which are like the growth blocks. So uh, if you ever need to come back and get some crystals, I can do. Um, do I need, need silk touch to grab the full ones? I think I might do. Can you take the baby ones? You can take the baby ones? I had no idea. And you know what? That definitely sounds like there's a mob spawner behind there. So I don't mind taking a look. But again, I don't need it, okay? I don't need it. Let's just let's ha let's ha have that be known. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how nice this sounds? Oh my gosh. That is, be that is just a beautiful, beautiful sound. Mojang, well done. That is so gorgeous to the ears. Oh! I love it. It's, it's, it's like ASMR. Not that I like have a weird fetish for ASMR or anything. Just I, I really like that sound. What is this again? What, what block is this? Nope. Palisite. Might as well take some of that as well. Okay. Now, all this is ransacked. Um, Let's take a look where these guys are screaming at me from. Because if you're going to tell me that this actually isn't a mob spawner, I'm going to be quite shocked, to be frank. Because they are so loud. Do you, want me to do you want me to come up or down? I think it says like down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry. Oh, wow. That's, yep, let's get louder. I'm coming. Oh, I crashed then. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where else? This way? I'm coming. I'm coming. I said, I know there's going to be a spawner here. Oh, wow. There actually was. Ah, oh, look at me. Oh, no. So many mobs. Whatever I do. Oh, no. Wait, this is shenanigans. Wait, there's no chests in here. Oh, I'm not happy now. I'm not bloody happy. Not at all. What is this? What is that? Wait, no ch no chests? <laughs> little child comes in like, Did I <laughs> I'm a late? Did I miss the party? Oh, it's, that is... I actually feel like I've been robbed there. I think that's the first ever time in Minecraft... I've, oh, hello. Uh, the first ever time in Minecraft I've found uh, a mob spawner, but with no chests in it. What's that about? What's that, what's that about, eh? There better be some diamonds down here to make up for it. Where are they? Give me the diamonds. Give me the desmonds. Give me the tutus. Eh? I don't want the iron. I want the diamonds. We need to make up for this loss that I've just taken. This unbelievable L that I've just carried. This is... Oh, my God. It just keeps on... It just keeps on going. Right. Um... Ah... Oh, no. 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 Okay. Well, that was just... That, 
I was having flashbacks to episode three there. That was uh, that was a bit uh, not not quite nice to say the least. I saw the actual uh, cave system up there that I could run around and try and find if there's anything uh, rare in the chests. But do I really want to do that? I'm not quite sure. I tell you what, um, I'll just run ransack it real quick, um, and then I'll meet you guys back up on the surface. Okay? If I die, <laughs> trust me, I'll I'll catch it on camera. Uh, I, I know I said I'll meet you guys upstairs, but I literally just went up that water source after I said if I die, I'll catch it on camera. And rather than finding chests near the actual spawner, I found two chests here, which... <gasps> Wait! Am I right in saying that that's a, no that's a notch apple, right? That's like the rarest... Uh, that, that's like the rarest one! That is the rarest one! Holy crap! Oh my... I've got goosebumps! There's no way! There is no way I was not expecting that at all. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Flipping heck to say we didn't find anything in that and then managed to get a notch apple. That is unreal. What are the chances of that? I could have I could have come up this way in any direction to actually come to it, but I just thought I'd follow that water source to see if it like led to straight outside at sea. And it led me to a notch apple. Wow. That, that has got to be one of the luckiest finds I've ever had in Minecraft. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I found like another actual like good mob spawner, but it was just a spider one. But wow, um, yeah, I, I honestly couldn't care less about like. Ex oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, imagine if I found some like absolutely dopest chips there as well. That would be amazing. Imagine if I found like back to batch not chapels. That would have been insane. That would have been the luckiest one of the luckiest moments I probably ever would have captured it uh, on camera uh, in Minecraft. But yeah, but that great success. I think we can legit now head up to the surface because um, that's a win. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> damn! From such a high, high happiness there to such low. Check this out. I was gonna say it's been a while since I've actually found one of these actual um, like blocks of iron. Uh, block of raw iron. W O W W built into the wall right there. Can you go away? Thank you. All right, and ta da! Oh, some Desmonds as well. How many did we get? How many did I manage to snag myself that? Wait, that was four? That was pathetic. I thought, I thought that was going to be way more than four, but no, no, no. Now, I think I'm getting closer and closer to the surface. I'm just working my way up uh, every little pathway I can find to see if it leads me anywhere of interest. You know, and I will, yeah. I walked past some iron before and was like, I don't want that. I want diamonds. Well, that was actually uh, lies and shenanigans. Lies and deceit, you could say. Um, I indeed do want all of the iron, um, but I am doing it as I leave. So, uh, thank you very much. I will take you. I will take you. Thank you. And away we go. Hey, looky, looky. I'm back where I found the uh, the diamonds when we first came down into this cave. And as I'm on my way back and leaving, hey, look what's around the corner. Take some more of those. Uh, wait, is that... I only got one diamond from that? What is going on with this distribution of uh, Fortune 3 that I'm supposed to have on this axe? It, uh, this pickaxe. It does not seem to be working. You ba... You, oh, I'm lagging. You bastard broken. Sort yourself out, lad. Better pick that up quickly before this creeper comes over and blows it up. Wow. Look at the scale of this this mountain. Oh, diamonds straight away. Absolute W. But look at this, man. This is unbelievable. All right. <laughs> Did I interrupt the play school? What the hell's going on? Why is there so many little guys running at me? Stop. What? 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 What's happening? Leave me alone. Oh my gosh, there was this like child abuse caught on camera there, but flip in heck. One second, I have to go FOV max. Look at this. Just look at the scale of this mountain. It's absolutely stupid. Like the, it, I've said it time and time again, but it is one of the best updates they've ever done in Minecraft. Like it's ridiculous how much effect it's had on the game from an exploration standpoint to everything. It just looks and feels incredible. Now, again, I'm trying to get out. Um, out is somewhere be behind that, all that. So uh, let's keep going. Grab our diamonds on the way out. And uh, Oh, yes. Be celebrating that we... F oh, my God. 19 diamonds. Oh, wow. Okay, so I like how I came into this being like, no, nah, I'm not really that bothered if I find any. Um, yeah, 19 diamonds. Um, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. Wow, this is Mob City, isn't it? Mob City, bitch. Mob, Mob City, bitch. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not even exploring that big room, which is back there. I've just walked off a little side tangent and just look how many resources I'm finding. Iron, iron, iron. It's just everywhere. I, this, this is what we so badly needed 
just to stock up on everything that we're probably not need to gonna 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 need to go on an adventure for like literal like re real life months. Not even like in game in game months, like real life months. It just keeps going. Everywhere I look, there's just resource after resource after resource. I I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in I'm in love with this video game. I I'm so oh yes. Look at this. Even more resources to go to my collection. <laughs> yes, Mr. Squid. I expect you to die. I, I, I can't actually explain to you how much iron I'm finding now. Now, I don't mean this just being like, oh, little pockets like you're seeing like this. I've just mined up probably four or five actual blocks of raw iron in the wall. Because when you mine this stuff, it just keeps on going. Like, you can just unearth more and more and more. Like, it's ridiculous. Every time you think you're done with finding the iron, look, it just keeps on going. And then you find more and more and more. Like, the, dude, the game literally said, right, Tom, I under... Look at it! Wait, what the fuck? Uh, am I finding a bit? <laughs> um, uh, wait, what is going on? Am I on bet? Wait, I am... Wait, I'm in legit scared right now. What is it? Wait, let me... Let me... <laughs> Disconnect and reconnect. Why is the floor <laughs> a hole in the ground? What is this? That is, that was a little bit spooky, I'm not gonna lie, but look at it! It's like the game understood the assignment I was needing to do today. It was like, right, Tom, we get, look at that! I've just made another 20. The game was like, right, Tom, we know you want iron, so guess what? We hear you loud and clear. We're just gonna keep giving you iron. Honestly, bro, it's, if someone told me I was playing modded Minecraft right now, I would freaking believe them. Look how much I'm finding! I, I, I'm in disbelief! Like, I, honestly, I, if I was recording just a second ago, like, when um, I, I just kept finding that, like, the ores keep going and going and going, like, I, I, my, I was, like, shaking my head in disbelief, like, there's no way there's this much iron. Like, there's no way there's this much iron. And it, the fact is, there just is, especially with the fortune pick. Like, look, I'm still not even finished with it. There's still more. And look at this. Like, is this some sort of sick joke? It just keeps going. How? Like, even either I'm in a bugged, like, terrain generation area, and it just keeps giving it me. Oh, my God. Like, it, it, and it just keeps giving me. Or, like, I'm ex somewhat extremely lucky. You might be like, no, Tom, it's just, like, the way it's changed now. And I, I hear that out loud 100%. But I have been running around, like, mining for, like, an hour now. And I've still yet to find these just copious amounts like this before. Like, it's just stupid ridiculous. I... I, I like, look at me. Look at my face. Look at my face right now. <laughs> I, I am in honestly in disbelief. Look, it you, you can just, like, infinitely keep finding um, iron. It, it, it's, uh, there's even more behind here. Like, what the heck? What the heck is this? WT heck, man. What the heck? I, I've probably mined. I, I would like to know. Yeah, well, oh my. <laughs> really? Then this, look at this shit. What is going on? I have never experienced this in this new update before. This is stupid. I, I cannot wait to do the math on how much, man, that was near that little pocket of, of, of iron we were looking for. I cannot wait to do the math to see how much iron we actually come out with after this. Like smelted it all together. I truly cannot wait to see the numbers because this is just, this is next level. I, I, and I'm still, I am still not done. I am still not flipping done. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and have a little bit more. Why not? I suppose I'll go ahead and a little bit more then. I suppose why not? It's just stupid. It's just, it 58 blocks of raw iron. And I've still got all these stacked up. Oh my lord. It just keeps on going. I, fa I found another raw block of it. Look at, look at everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, it's iron, 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 iron. I, I, again, I am not complaining, but surely there's going to get to a point where it stops or it runs out. But it seems like every time I break a block, I reveal another one. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is probably, this clip is probably 25 minutes later after I just, you know, like had my whole mental breakdown with the fact that I found so much iron. I'm just going to show you my inventory right now. Just to let you understand the scale of how long that kept going for. I, I, I just continued to find more and more and more. It was just ridiculous. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I've just got to draw a line at this point. And then when I went to walk away, um, I found some diamonds. So 
You know, that, that's an absolute win. I've... Oh, my God. There's more iron. Like, look at it. it I can't do this game. I li... I f can we just... Right, stop. Please, can this be the last of it? Right, watch. I will literally not stop mining until all the iron has been picked up. Right? Look. It just... It just... Oh, wait. Is this where I was? Yeah, look. This this is where I was. I started... Look, 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 look. I started there, and I mined all the way under and over, under and over, all the way to get me over to this point where I just kept... Finding more iron, man. I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight, and all I'm gonna see is just uh, you know iron ores like floating. It. I just found another block. Look at this shit. Like, I, like honestly, if I, if this was a live stream I, and I was doing this as like a full full live episode, this would have been a pure two hours of me just mining the same ore line non-stop. Like I've taken a screenshot of the coordinates of where I am. In case it's some, in honestly, in case it's some sort of like bugged area that is just producing like ores at a ridiculous rate, like that, the amount of diamonds we found. I've got twenty nine diamonds for goodness sake. It's mental. Look at it. It's just, it's just stupid. It's just absolutely stupid. I, I, I think, I feel like I'm, I am truly done with this mine now. I'm gonna leave that crafting table behind. I think I'm finally done with this to lead up towards here. I hope to not see another piece of I. Oh God. <laughs> Chainmail zombie, he looks swanked out. Do you know what? Is this? Am I right in saying? Can you? Can you? Is this the only way to get chainmail armor from? Is it from killing chainmail zombies or like mobs? Or can you actually buy it from uh, the actual villagers? I think you can buy it from villagers. I was gonna take that then in case it was like a rare thing, but I'm not 100 sure. And oh wow, look what I found! More iron. You you just can't believe it. You can't write it. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's more iron. Fine, I'll take it then. Why not? Might as bloody well. It's actually worth noting in case anyone says like, oh, oh Tom, you might be in the Badlands. Uh, I'm not. I'm actually in a Minecraft forest. Um, so, yeah, as to if you ever want to go looking for ores and have just your brain melted by finding just absolutely ridiculous amounts. Um, yeah, Minecraft forest. I couldn't even imagine with the like the 1.18 uh, Caves and Cliffs update what the um, the Badlands must be like. Like, flipping egg. Going to the Badlands and taking, uh, like, a beacon, a portable beacon there with you, that, that has got to be just nuts. Like, absolutely nuts. Haste 2 in that area, just collecting resources for days, it must be just absolutely stupid. Like, on, a, on another level of stupidity. But, um, right, it looks like we are getting to a bit of a, a, a nice, calm, dry patch. Can we, can we leave now? I've only been saying that for the last... Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even want anymore. I just want to leave now. I, it, like, the thing is, you might be like, Tom, why do you want to leave? You wanted to do a resource run? And the answer is, yeah, I did want to do a resource run. But I genuinely didn't think I would I would find this many resources. I, th You remember when I said we we're going to run a lot, like, r along the open top of, like, the mountains to find, like, coal and iron and stuff like that? Well, I've got, I've got tons, mate. Like, look, if I open up this real fast, look what I've got in here. Oh, that was very rude. <laughs> Look what I've got in here. I have 48 blocks of coal in here. I, I've, I've still got some stacked up. Like, look at this. Look at this. I've got, I've got stonks just hidden away still. I just, I, I, I just don't think I was mentally prepared for this episode. I really wasn't. I just, I, I thought we would see. I thought, I thought we would find some success in our adventure. Just not this much. Side note. Wow. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> what great timing. It's like, si side note. Wow. Side note. Look at I just found Desmond. Hello there. Hello. Hello, old friend. How you doing? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Can I grab him? Yep. And then I think, yep, another block. Beautiful. 39 diamonds. I'm hoping I didn't drop any below me there, but oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm underwater. Oh, that was got. Oh, <laughs> The success of this mission has been unbelievable. 40 Desmond Tutus in my pocket. Wow. A little bit more iron, why not? You know, never hurt anyone. <laughs> wow, this is this has been great. This really, really has been great. Wow. Well, you know, still trying to leave and um, still manage. Hey, name tag. We'll take we'll take. We'll take a name tag. That is a very nice little, little thing for me to take on my journey. I feel like name tags aren't even that rare anymore with the whole, like, you know, you can trade them from a villager. But seeing as though I don't have that trade available at this moment in time. 
Okay. Um, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, um, I'm supposed to be trying to get higher, and I'm still at minus 48. Um, not really going well, is it? Oh, hello. Hello there. Golden apple. Okay, it's not it's not a god apple, but uh, we take that. We take that. Um, coal. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make some more torches real fast. Just to guide me th with the light. Get me out of here. And then, is that everything? Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to back. All right. Um, may I leave without finding any more loot now? Thank you, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> the computer said no. Look what I've found. I, don't, I genuinely don't think... Ooh. I don't think I need to touch it. I really don't. But I'll take a I'll take a screenshot of the coordinates uh, for a later date. That is a that that's a oh, I'm just kind of drawn to that. That's a that's a big old boy. Damn. Uh, yeah, I found I found another one. You know, apparently apparently it's it's like it's like this was a sign. I was heading up this way and it was like, don't leave, Tom. It's not time yet. But for the sake of my sanity, I think this is where we must draw the line. I'm getting to a point where. You know, my ender chest is full. My inventory is full. Um, if I would have known I was going to find this much resources, I probably would have, like, you know, done the whole salt touch thing the entire time. Because uh, then we could have just carried so, 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 so much more. But, um, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty golden with not needing to go out on an adventure for a long, long time. And we should be able to have every single possible re... <gasps> Do you know what I've just remembered? Oh, I forgot to get a dark oak sapling from those trees. Now, luckily, they're not too far away from, like, home and stuff like that. So, that's not, like, the end of the world. But I did indeed forget to grab one. So, on our on our journey on the way back, we'll have to grab one of those. As you know, I can't help myself grabbing a little bit more. But, no, for real now. I know I keep joking, like, ha-ha, we keep finding more. Or, ha-ha. Like, we keep on going. And, ha-ha, look, it's, like, more more stuff. Ha-ha. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm ready to... <laughs> I want to... Fuck it. Oh, my God. What the hell's going on here? This, this is... This is the sort of... Is this the final boss battle before I leave? All right. Let's trigger one of these to... to come on. Shoot. Go on. I want to try and get the, the, the skeletons to kill the cre uh, the creepers. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Kill the... Kill, kill, the, kill, the, kill the... Kill the creeper. Kill the creeper. Yeah, shoot the creeper. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Shoot him. No. <laughs> Are they shooting each other? Wait. <laughs> This is just a, this. Is, this fight right here is a perfect summary of like what is going on right now. Nope, nope. You're gonna kill him, and you're gonna end this on giving me a music disc. All right, you ready? Give me a music disc. Come on. Well, that was an absolute bloody failure. Yeet! All right, time to grab the diamonds, and uh, I will act. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I will actually meet you guys on the surface. Okay? I finally made it to the surface where the resource gathering didn't stop because I came out near a snowy mountain and because I got silk touch, I was like, ah, uh, you know what? I might as well, I might as well pick up um, some powdered snow and stuff whilst I'm here. But ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've made it out, but I don't exactly know where I am. So I'm gonna have to try and find the nearest coastline or whatever uh, and decipher which direction I need to be going in. I thought this is the, the birch area that um we were at. Bumblebee, wait, wait, I stole you. Oh, wait up. That's <laughs> that is <laughs> stupidly convenient. Um, what do you have for me? Horse armor is a little bit of a bonus for leaving. If it, mate, it's like a full set of armor. Here. Look at this. It's freaking. You could. You find this, mate. You're good to go off the rip. Um, I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down as well. Even though realistically, um, I don't quite need this. I just simply. I, I just simply don't. Um. I'm going to show you my inventory and the amount of stonk. Well, you can actually see it now, what am I talking about? The amount of stonks I've got is kind of unreal. Uh, I'm very impressed with myself. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I will be even more prouder when I... Is this the... <gasps> I was going to say, is this the stuff that you can fall through? It is. Can I silk touch this? Is this is this a different silk touch or... Ow, ow. This is not how I want to die. This is not how I want to die. Weird. Wait, so is it all snow blocks you can fall through or is it... It's only certain types like this one, right? Yeah, and I can't silk touch that. No, I can't. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. I got a little bit distracted there. Um, yeah, Mr. B, um, when I first met you, I uh, stole your house. But I'm back, and I'm a changed man. I'll, if you can guide me to the nearest shoreline, I'll potentially give you your home back. How's that sound? Huh? How's that sound? He's like, piss off, ghost. You've, <laughs> you've ruined me and my family's life forever. Um, but yeah, I don't quite know where I am. But I up, coastline. Do we recognize it? Is this somewhere where we've been before? 
it kind of looks like the tropical fish area that uh, that we were like swimming and collecting with the buckets. I'm going to just head over there a little bit and see if it is, but I could be very, very wrong. Is this BR where my adventure began? I can't quite be sure or be telling the truth here because I'm seeing a lot of resources still in the mountainside. And don't get me wrong, we went on the bit of the adventure so we didn't need it to kind of go underneath. And oh, look at that. What a great spot there, I just noticed. There's another uh, nether temple uh, or nether portal uh, that's constructed up there. Um, I can't quite tell you. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a horse. Bro, I thought you were some dodgy looking goat. <laughs> Goats aside, I'm taking some of these with me. What, what the bloody hell are these? Are these sunflowers? Oh, yeah, we'll take some of these. You know, again, listen, just because I like flowers don't mean nothing or other, right? I'm still the most badass fighter in all of the land, and I'm slightly good. I didn't bring a saddle with me, because look at all these horses. This is a gorgeous location to be able to find a, a, a steady steed for my adventures, of which, by the way, getting out of that uh, mountain uh, that I was stuck in for, like, the longest time was uh, a, a brutal, treacherous journey, but um, there was an absolute win. I did indeed find some more diamonds whilst I was in there, so uh, totaling out at 59 diamonds, big win, happy days. But I also found another name tag, and check out the amount of chains I got. If I put the video on the screen right now, um, I just like walked around the corner and just saw like the biggest chain collection coming from the ceiling, hanging down to a, you know, like a, a, a platform. And I thought, you know what? Seeing as though I've got all the iron in the world, um, why not just be smart about it and use uh, use my noggin and just take the actual chains? Because that's kind of what I'm going to make anyway. And uh, that's what I did. So look at that. We're absolutely swagged out of our faces. Um, I'm seeing no signs of home in any direction here. Like, I don't recognize any of this. You guys? Like, I don't, I, I legit don't recognize, I don't recognize any of this. One sec. Have I still got a bed? In oh, 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 oh. Have I still got a bed inside this? Yes, I do. All right, let me have a quick night's sleep. Let's wake up, let's check what's inside that chest, and then uh, I think it's going to be a, a case of uh, pull up the coordinates uh, to see how the hell we are getting home. Because, uh, hey, li listen, if Spider-Man thought he was far from home, um, I think I'm even further than him. So, all right, Mr. Chest, what have you got? I, I, okay, uh, that's not that impressive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, was, I was hoping for something pretty sick. We could potentially actually light up the portal uh, and use it as a fast way to travel back, but... Um, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit of an adventure to return home. And, oh, I, I assume that must have been the mountainside that was in down below. Let me guess. There's iron down there. Nah, no, 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 Wait, uh, wait a dash ding dong second. I am right. I knew this looked like the area. There's no way it didn't. The acacia trees, the stone edging. If I'm right in saying, below here, right? 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 Below here should be... The crafting area of where I started smelting everything. Wait, did I take it with me? I might, I might, I might take it with me, but this is it. This is definitely the spot where we started booking up the fish. I knew it looked like it. I think it was on that little platform. Yeah, there's the dolphin. Yeah, th right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm I am no longer lost. Home is indeed in this direction. You know what? A little bit of coal, a bit, a little bit of coal for the road. Never anybody did it. Come on now, come on now. Listen, I found all the iron in the world that I needed, um, and I still need more coal. So we'll take this. We'll just take this my, fine addition to my collection. Fine addition, and I'm gonna throw away. You know what? I think that's a symbol of this video. I've got too much of you. I'm gonna leave you behind, and I'm gonna carry on back to my house, where I'm gonna meet you guys there, and we are gonna cash in and see how many resources we actually managed to gather in total. To tell you what. It is going to be a big old number. <laughs> Look at that, boys. We're almost home already. I told you, my sense of direction is just absolutely incredible. And, well, that said, I basically just went in a diagonal line all the way over there. So I know how to get back to that area. And if we actually went back over there with um, an actual beacon, like I said uh, earlier, we would be able to gather so many resources. It would just be absolutely insane. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to ask you guys to comment right now. I want you to guess... When I go, don't, I don't do, don't do any quick math or anything like that. I want you to guess right now, how many ores do you think I came back with? Let's go with uh, being the redstone, um, the, the lapis, the iron, the gold, the diamonds. How many do you think I actually came back with? Because let me tell you, the stonks are high and I'm very excited to find out how exactly high the stonks actually are. And by the way, that is clearly an enderman who's put them there. Come on, man. Leave my island alone. Right, now Derek- Ah! Oh! <laughs> that's, that's one way to start recording a clip. <laughs> 
I need to put like a pumpkin on Derek's head so I can look at him and he's not going to attack us rather than me having to disconnect every time. But Derek, I hope you're ready for this. I hope you've got your comment ready to put because ladies and gentlemen, I, this is... This is the biggest game of how close can you get to the real number that way we ever done. It's kind of like the price is right, but guess the amount. I want you guys to guess how much lapis, redstone, copper, iron, gold, and coal that I had. And I want you to leave it as a comment down below, right? One under the other. And I want you to start right here with the first suggestion, which is going to be lapis. Because ladies and gentlemen, I managed to bag 456 lapis. That is a lot of lapis. When it comes to the redstone, if you said, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe less, you know, like we should play higher or lower, higher or lower. If you said like 100, 200 redstone, you would be wrong because I got 432 redstone. Insane. I know. Moving on to the copper, you might go less, more, less, more, less, more. I managed to get 522 copper from that adventure it's just fucking ridiculous isn't it for the for the just like the piece de la resistance of just mammothness if you commented saying tom you probably got you know yeah more cop more than copper maybe you got 600 700 800 900 you'd be wrong i got 1270 iron from that trip. Like, I am sorry, but we will be able to make chains, cauldrons, everything you can think of, rails for days. And day. Like, it will literally last us in game, like, like in day, in real life, months. Like, that, that's how ridiculous that is. Like, I, I am so happy that we went on that adventure. And then, when it comes to the gold, if you come in uh, less than that, you'd be right. We got 270 gold, absolutely pog champion. And then when it comes to the coal, we pretty much doubled that by getting 530 coal. Like, I, 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 can't, I cannot believe it. Like, it is stupid how much we've got. And then when it comes to the final, this is like my little rare chest. We managed to come out of it with the 64 iron chains that we took from in there. We've got the two stacks of amethyst, which was beautiful. Don't forget, we've actually got like, you know, the gems and stuff in here still, like the little crystals. I could have put them in, but I didn't I didn't know whether or not that like was it a thing that we're going to tally up. But got all the crystals. We've got the two name tags, 59 diamonds, golden horse armor, glowing sacks. Absolutely amazing. Dark oak logs. And more so, we got... The Enchanted Golden Apple, which is just... Like, come on. Did you guys know this? I'm going to show you something. Did you guys know that you can actually craft something with the Enchanted uh, Apple? It's like, a, it's like a banner of sorts. There you go. The thing. Look at this. You actually put paper, uh, an Enchanted Apple, and it gives you the ability to craft the thing. Like, I had no idea that there was anything that even consisted of a recipe with the, the, the Notch Apple. But there you go. We finally got it. What an absolute great success that was. I hope you guys got close to guessing the amounts here. But just look at it. Look at how much swagger we have returned from that adventure with. Like, it, it's insane. I am honestly like a giddy little kid right now because the amount of stonks that we have made. It's going to allow us to do so much more building and stay so focused on so many more tasks because I can just like, I can craft like one of everything. Like, you know, in between these videos, I've got always smell in, uh, you know, like my cobblestone to be making like stone and stuff like that. So I've got stone for days. We've even got mossy stone. Um, if we run over to here, look, I've got like my mossy cobblestone ready to go. Like I am so ready to continuously be able to keep building and doing these projects and not falling behind because we haven't got the recipe that we need or the item that we need. So yeah, man, that was one of the most successful journeys I have ever had in Minecraft history. And I love how instantly afterwards I go and sleep on my, uh, <laughs> I, I go and sleep in my little bed that's on the floor. I'm like the richest Minecraft player I've ever been at any stage in my life. And I'm still going sleep on the floor. Like it's just embarrassing. <laughs> But we are indeed at that stage where I need to grab a sign from here. So I'm going to take one of these. Thank you very much. Run over to my very organized chest. Look at this. It's just, it, isn't it so much nicer to just have everything laid out where you need it? We're going to go past uh, Derek the Daddy Longlegs. And we're going to find a present that he's left here for us. Derek, thank you so much. I'm going to cherish it so much. But we're also going to add a member to the Wall Legends. You guys know how this goes. If you leave a comment, you never know. You might end up being a person who goes down in history as a Wall of Legend. The last guy episode, we have episode number 15, which was GJ. But for episode 16, we are indeed going to have episode 15, which is going to be... Cliff, if I spell this right, B... 
<coughs> with a dot. I think it's actually a space and a dot. There you go. Cliff B, shout out to your face. He left a comment saying this, or they left a comment saying, I remember in the OG, the micro project, Tom would make everything out of oak, stone bricks, bricks, and glass. And anytime he wanted to do something fancy, he would contact Fire UK to build it for him. Now, fast forward years later, Tom is building a room with the Fire UK level of detail. It's bringing a tear to my eye. You know what, Cliff? That's what we're here to do. We're here to step things up, make shit awesome, and uh, so hopefully you guys uh, like what I do. Because don't get me wrong, I know some of my building decisions sometimes are a little bit potato and uh, can be very bland, but I like to break it up. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of mixing it up. This was a good little episode to uh, break up the whole uh, build building we've been doing with a bit of adventuring but i am calling it right here right now i said we might we may we possibly will fight the ender dragon uh, but what hang on a minute whoa 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 calm down tony calm down um we'll try and fight the wither in the next episode so you heard it here we're gonna go to the nether we're gonna go and try and farm luckily because we got loot in uh, three as a sword and we're gonna try and get ourselves some wither skeleton skulls to try and fight the wither and i actually want, I know it's a bad idea, to fight the wither in the open world rather than doing it in a safe way of like going underground or going to the end and fighting him in there where it's like a really safe way to do it. I want to go to like a village that's really far far away or maybe the old one that we found. I want to spawn the uh, the uh, the wither there and I want to just fight him in his natural chaotic destruction whilst he nukes the area. So if that sounds like a plan guys make sure you leave a like right click that subscribe button. Don't forget if you haven't done so already make sure you go to Syndicate Original my clothing line because I'm going to be giving some more shout outs to some people who buy themselves and swag we got this pow 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 on screen right now you can go to syndicate original.com wherever you are in the world we're pretty much uh universal to where we order unless you're from like uh space uh then i don't think we're universal so uh we're we're we're, we're uk worldly and us worldly mainly so yeah get your orders placed i might be giving you a shout out in the next episode and until then guys thanks for watching much love adios